Hello. Welcome to another stream of Chrono Trigger. So, uh, I messed with some mods. I, I did a little bit of modding. We got the D filter back on, and we did a couple, just a couple of static changes. I didn't, I didn't mess with too much. But uh, we're gonna, we're gonna continue more Chrono Trigger because the game has me firmly in its grasps again, and I'm, I'm feeling it. So, um. Make sure everything is all set. How's it going, Ride? How's it going, Balam? How's it going, Sliskin? I see you on the list there, too. All right. And I finally learned that, um... So, uh, slobs, by default, when you when you click on a different thingy... I, I learned on by default, its transition is set to nothing. So, I, I, I finally put on a, <laughs> a better transition. Or at least a transition. I had no idea that it was just cutting and it looked all weird. Alright. Hello. Hello. So, hopefully, I just opened the game, so hopefully we're not going to have that issue where it just magically decides to stop working again. But uh, I was just looking at it to look at the mods I put on. And it seems like it's fine. Huzzah! Isn't it nice when things work? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Alright. There we go. And you can see here I got the Chrono Trigger SNES font installed. <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Sliskin, for seven whole months. Good lord. So as you can see, I got the blue menu and and the Chrono Trigger font, and it looks pretty damn nice. These mods, man, just getting better and better. I really like it. And plus, obviously, the blue menu is always my favorite, and I'm happy I can have it again. Okay, so last time, we finished off... I just turned way the hell up. We finished off Magus, and we also... Uh, finished prehistory. And now we're here in. The controller's on my lap and I'm looking for it. Here in the Ice Age. But first, just because the warp is right here, I will quickly show you guys what Specchio has to say to Ayla when it comes to magic. And look at this deep filter, doing a good job. Let us begin our awesome nice. adventure and nice look. Oh, look at those biddies. Here they come. There they go. <laughs> Thanks, Balam. So yeah, the menu looks nice. We it, it removed some of the gross UI stuff from the mobile version, so we just have a nice clean screen now. And with just the D filter alone that got updated, it looks pretty damn good now. Even without the uh, SNES sprites, it looks really good. These mods are coming a long way really fast. Way faster than Square has done anything about what they said they were going to do. <laughs> anyway. Hey there, sweetheart. Unfortunately, you were born before magic existed, so casting spells is right out. But if it's any consolation, you seem to have plenty of other assets. <clears throat> Speculo. Hey. <laughs> he sure as hell did not say that in the original. And even Specchio thinks Ayla's a waifu. Anyway, that was that. So that's all that was. Um, I think we are gonna switch up our party, though. Hmm. I think we might bring the girls for this this part. Or should I? Hmm, who do I want to bring? Ayla's great. And all. But... Hmm, who do I want for the stuff coming up? I think I probably will want... Uh, Luca and Marl. So we'll bring them. It's RPG Madness for me now playing Nino Kuni 2 and watching Chrono Trigger. Yeah, I, I saw that Nino Kuni 2 came out. I never played or saw much of the original. All I know is that it's Studio Ghibli style. So that's, that's my understanding of it. Which is neat. 
All right, let's bring the gals. I got a sitting cross leg there. All right. Two, not there. Which portal is it? This one. Nope. <laughs> this one. There, yeah, there we go. I used to have all those memorized. I sure, I sure don't now. So yeah, messed around with a couple mods and stuff looks pretty good. It's pretty neat. So we're going to continue from there. Well, the UI didn't perfectly remove dead mobile stuff, but... <laughs> oh well. Little, little shadow boys there. The original story is phenomenal, but gameplay was less than desirable. Mm, interesting. There's a lot of RPGs out there that I've yet to uh, get to. I'm just too busy replaying ones I've played before many times. Oh man. Some of the best music in the game. I think I might actually go ahead and turn up the game a little bit. Just bump that up to like, maybe there, and that won't overshadow me, I don't think. I hope. The gameplay from the second one that I've seen kind of looked like, uh, kind of looked like the Tales games, kind of like action-ish. This is the Magic Kingdom of Zeal, where dreams can be made reality. But nothing in this world comes free. There is always a price to be paid. <laughs> Welcome to Inasa, Zeal's city of dreams, who seek enlightenment with the bliss of sleep. You're not of us, are you? Oh, this is good ass music. You are most unusual visitors. Am I waking? Or is this a, but a continuation of my dream? Regardless of that, I welcome you to Zeal. Her Majesty Queen Zeal rules the Magic Kingdom. She is without peer in beauty or grace. It is actually really nice to have the original Fawn, because that other Fawn was kind of jarring, but hey. We owe our prosperity to Her Majesty the Queen. After the king died, she encouraged the development of our kingdom's magical prowess, which has led to great advancements. Zzzz. Masa and Moon are running around up here. The world you see with your eyes may well differ completely from the one I see with mine. There are so many different worlds, as there are observers. Never assume that only those things which you can see or touch are real. <laughs> Do you believe in such things as fate? Do you think it's possible our lives are predetermined? Well, yes I do. No, that's ridiculous. That's none of your business. Oh, I don't remember that third option. Well, I wanted to check all of them. So, you're a believer too. Yes, perhaps it's all arrogant to think ourselves strong enough to overturn destiny. Well, considering the uh, context of the game, I think we're trying to fight against that. Yes, it is, isn't it? We are the masters of our own destinies. This little guy disagrees with you no matter what you say. Speaking of which, I believe there may be a doorway of destiny in this very place. Maybe the third option is just... doesn't say anything. Yep, <laughs> ellipses. Truth exists in dreams, the world exists in me. Queen has sealed away the great elemental weapons and armors forged with the power of the sun in the shrine to the north. You can see its entrance of the northern continent, but no one is allowed inside it now. Yeah, that used to always drive me crazy that there was no way to get to that little island, but that that triangular thing on it is definitely familiar. I am Doreen. Seek the hidden path and open the doors of knowledge at each turn. Each in turn. Well, we'll talk on. Shababa. The door to the northern shrine is sealed by a powerful force. Even we, the enlightened ones, lack the means to open it. Welcome. Have you to do business? Ooh, what do you got? What do you got? You got, you got recovery items. How about weapons? Nope. Nope. Just recovery. Thanks anyway. Hey. 
Hey, what's wrong? You have something to say? What a weird kid. What's wrong with him? The black wind ha winds howl. One among you will shortly perish. Hey, what do you mean? What? What's that supposed to mean? Chrono, that was kind of creepy. It's only a bad joke. Prophecy is completely unscientific. <laughs> this is a font <laughs> of recovery. Yes, this font that we have on the game now is making me feel much better. Thank you. Rest your wearied mind and body within, Traveler. I wonder what's within the Northern Shrine. No doubt the key to unlock its seal is held at the palace, but entry there is strictly forbidden in the name of Her Majesty the Queen. The Queen's palace sits at the heart of our kingdom. She watches over all the world from its high vantage point. It's because of that we can sleep our days away in peace, Yon. Can I talk to you? City of Kajar, the high seat of the magical research, lies on the edge of the western continent. The airship, the Blackbird, is maintained there as well. See if I can just remember how to do this thing. There's books here that act as a secret puzzle thing. It might be Water Beckons Wind, which gives life to fire, if I remember right. I'm probably wrong. So there's Water Wind, Fire. Perfect! I remembered it. Quit. <laughs> there's just a new fella in here. Mystery of Life, Volume 841, Chapter 26. Goddamn. All life begins and ends with new. <laughs> this is the undeniable truth because I believe it to be so. At least for the present. All life begins with new and ends with new. Speaking of news. The guru of reason is gone. Do you want to challenge me? Sure. Alright, prepare yourselves. Then we got multi-hitting magic. Now the news can be annoying because they have a chance of just outright killing you. Their attack either does one HP or all your HP. And if you want them to try to do max HP instead of one HP, so that they don't just flat out kill you. get used to this new menu now, and she's dead. <laughs> That's exactly what I was talking about. Chrono might be dead. Nope, we're lucky. We're lucky. We have a chance to try to recover Marl. Oh my god, they're all they're all doing it. They're all doing their attacks. Crap, crap, crap. Stop! Stop hub button! No! They are getting their turns before mine. Exactly what I didn't want to happen. Yeah, these guys might be problematic. I might have to cheat and put them on, put this on wait mode again. Because they're all just getting their turns off, which makes this way harder. Weaklings, new. Alright, um, how do I want to handle this? If Luca had her multi-hitting attack too, that would help a lot. Okay, I'm gonna try again without them being on wait mode. See if I can manage this, but it's like completely RNG, it's up to chance. You just have to hope they don't kill you.
they just want to give me a hug because their heads are too big. They're just slamming into me too much. Well, I mean, their entire body is a head, so... <laughs> I think I might have to switch my party, because the best way I imagine handling this is constantly using Aura Whirl, and then have one person who can hit everything. Because this is not going to work out. Or alternatively, I can bring in Frog, who has a multi-healing move, and then have two people hit with their magic. That might be the better strategy for this. Yeah, let me switch my party. This party's not gonna work for this. Alright, let's do... Um... You know what? Yeah, Frog and Robo will be perfect. This Robo has a multi-hitting magic attack. Frog can do the healing, and Chrono can do attacking as well. Let's try this. Oh, do I have... any equipment that might possibly help? Boost attack defense? Oh, not that one. Speed belt? No. Alright, let's try again. And if this fails, I'll put them on wait mode, because they're going nuts. Specule's song as well. Just to amplify how ridiculous this fight is. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Thank you. This is still gonna be tough. Because if I'm at 1 HP, that just means it's 50-50 if I die or not. Please. Okay, good, good, good. Get your heal off. We're getting good RNG. This is working out. Yes! Got he! All it took was a party change. Robo learns Robo Tackle. Learn Frog Launcher Dual Tech. Bubble Breath Dual Tech. <laughs> triple Attack, Triple Tech. You're strong. Take this. We get the Magic Capsule and a Speed Capsule. No. Thanks for the gifts, my friend. We can switch back to the other party. GG, new GG. I'm gonna save after that. <laughs> Just in case a freak accident happens.
Wait a minute. Huh, I guess I was just the one building down there. Maybe there's another island with a totally unique, neat looking building over there you can't get to either. Alright, here's a good jar. What about the blackbird first, though? Why are you here? All is well with the Blackbird, I presume. Oh, this is the guy who has, like, James from Team Rocket voice, I always imagined. She's fully operationer, Lord Operationer, <laughs> Lord Delton. Of course she is, you blundering idiot. Were she not, we'd all be in trouble. You, what are you doing here? Hmm, those clothes. You must be the one the Prophet said would come to interfere. I think I shall watch for the time being, and see how he plays his hand. Not that I suspect you'll Maybe he's jealous so of easily. what a fucking <laughs> man you are. Thank you, the one true blue, for following. Welcome to the party, my friend. I think we're closing in on 400 followers. Not bad, not bad. This is the magic city of Kajar. We perform research in the magical arts to help for further Her Majesty's plans to deliver on our kingdom even greater glory. But Blue, you are the one true Blue. <laughs> I'm, I'm one of many. The amount of people who go by the nickname Blue on the internet is, is large. <laughs> Your power differs from ours. It's difficult to describe, but in you I sense a strange kindness. In ancient times, people crafted wondrous weapons and, arm and armor by combining shards of rainbow-colored shell with the sunstone's power. But now only the Gruel of Light knows the art of crafting such things, and even if the others did, the Queen has ordered us to abandon use of sun's power. Uh, such a... Beachious, beautious contentment. <laughs> beautious. I'm gonna look up how to pronounce that. That is not a word I'm familiar with. Beautious is what I'm assuming. Beauteous. 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 Just another word for beautiful. Hmm. Okay. Wait, what did you say at the end there? Uh, such a beauteous con contentment there is in a newly blossomed bud. What would that I could be a flower? This is a font of recovery, huh? Thank you. This is the same thing as the other girl. That's the Sun Temple, which you see on the Southern Sky Isle. The Sunstone, once our primary source of power, was enshrined there. However, the temple was sealed up along with the Northern Shrine once we turned to our new energy source. The Queen claimed we'd need no... no need for the energy of tired old sun. Oh, yeah, so... That's deliberately why you can't access either places they've been completely sealed off from even the people who live here. We've been seeing a great deal of young Lord Janus lately. Before he scarcely showed his face, but now he paces around quite often, always looking upset. What tempest must rage in young Lord Janus's head? His only friend other than his sister is that cat that follows him about. There's a sparkly up there. Look at that. It was sparkly. The heck? Why is there a sparkly up in that upper right corner? I don't even think that's where the secret passage opens up in this place. Her Majesty Queen Zeal has two children, Lady Scala and Lord Janus. Lady Scala is an incredible young child, or is it Shala? With extraordinary magical powers. With such a gift, her life must be all ease and luxury. I've always said Scala, but it's probably Shala. But also school is C-A-S-C-H like that too, so it could be Scala. 
Ugh. Words. Those like a magic are known as the earthbound ones. They have always lived beneath the clouds. It's only fitting. After all, they lack our talents. <laughs> Little fool of yourself, ain't you? My, you have an unusual aura. You must possess the gift, too. Yours seems very primitive compared to ours, though, you poor thing. <laughs> How's that we came to have the powers we do? Why do some possess the gift while others lack it? It's a conundrum. Alright, let's see. What book are you? Yep, water. Uh, are you wind? Nope, you're fire. Wind. Fire. Because I opened the wrong book the first time I had to redo it. <laughs> Rip in peace. Okay, water. began aeons ago, when man's ancestors stumbled upon a shard of strange red rock. Eons, I said aeons again. Its power was beyond human comprehension. It cultivated dreams and gave birth to love and hate. Only time will tell how it ends. Obtained an unidentifiable object. <laughs> but inside is a black gemstone. Alright, in the original they were just called rocks, but again, that was probably just a font limitation thing, or typeface limitation, or character limit, whatever, or whatever you want to say. Gemstones sure makes them sound more neat, and they'll have a better purpose later on. What do you got new? It's got shelters. I actually, I'm just gonna buy a bunch of these. so much money I may as well. I have platinum armor too, but I need her majesty's permission to sell it. Interesting. Oh, was the first one not action RPG like the second one is? Interesting. So the first one's probably turn-based, right? Her Lady Scala's powers far surpass those of her mother. Then there's her brother, young Lord Janus. He's of royal blood as well, of course, but doesn't seem to have the faintest trace of magical ability. Now, I've been working to fashion a capsule that will enhance one's magical skill, but my precious products have been disappearing in recent days. It must be that naughty new that took them. They do sh so love pranks. He's no doubt hitting them all about. How can I work like this? That book isn't a book. <laughs> that book's just decoration. First one is a weird type of tactical RPG where your monsters you can tame fight. Ah. It just doesn't feel good. Hm. Sure sounds weird. <laughs> Seal's progress stems from our new energy source. His power far surpasses that of the sun's elemental energy. The gurus of life, time, and reason dwell in zeal. Their knowledge and skill is without equal. I heard a strange prophet has come to the palace. I do not know the details, but I heard he has power as most uncanny. This new doesn't respond to us at all. Oh, that capsule has not been completed yet. Too bad, eh? <laughs> know you this, traveler? The Moonstone can be restored to a glorious Sunstone if left to bask in the sun's warm light. But such would require eons. None of us will either witness that gorgeous glow again. A guru once told me that the Sunstone once held all the nearly infinite energy of our sun. Over time, that energy was slowly depleted, and it turned into a lightless Moonstone. Water summons wind. Wind makes fire dance. <laughs> I knew that before I even talked to you, my friend. So I'm, a, I'm a loser with useless information stuck in my head about video games. 
No, oh, actually, I wonder if I can obtain speed capsule. Yeah, so that that sparkling thing in the corner is now going to be gone. Yep. I didn't remember that one. Second one, however, actually has combos, special skills, mechanics, and stuff with a monster helper type thing. That's good. Behold, that out the window is the great blackbird, built by Belthasar, the guru of reason. Reason. To see it soar across the sky, you'd think it alive. The guru is a genius. The construction of the ocean palace has fallen behind schedule. An everlasting palace beneath the waves. It'll be a sight to see when it's finished. I'm, I'm stuck. <laughs> that guy was holding me inside his body. The earthbound ones are being allowed to work on the construction of the ocean palace. Being allowed or being forced. It seems even they have their purpose. Uh-huh. The structure you can see deep beneath the waves below is the ocean palace, a symbol of our queen's greatness. The palace is a beacon of light which will guide us to a brighter future. All praise the great and wondrous queen zeal. I almost kind of wish more of these books had, had things to say. <laughs> Give me all that lore. Give me all the lore you can possibly muster. Alright, I think that's all there is down here for the time being. All that and still holds that glorious level 5 storytelling. That's good. If the story's on par with the first one. So eventually, I'm going to try to figure out more things I can do with uh, Robo Lucario there, because I have all sorts of things I can code him to do, like, there's different commands, there's, um, he has commands where you can, like, play custom sound files on the stream and stuff, and there's, like, a currency system that we could do for, like, I don't, I don't know what yet, but, like, this thing has so many tools that I've yet to mess with. It all, it all works for Discord, too, so... One day, one day Robo Lucario will be more advanced and I can completely remove Nightbot, maybe. <laughs> this is the Queen's Palace in the center of the Magic Kingdom of Zeon. Which is to say, this is the center of the universe. Mm. Awkward with thing with the cutscenes where they go to quick voice cutscene to show off a character and stuff and then immediately cuts back to dialogue box. That's that sounds like a Tales of problem. That man appeared only recently, but he earned the Queen's trust quickly with his startlingly accurate predictions. His origins are a mystery. He's not one of us, enlightened ones, but nor is he an earthbound one. From where could such a man have come? I don't know. We're kind of strained ourselves, aren't we? Were you aware that Belthasar, the Guru of Reason, maintains secret chambers in, in, in Hassa and Kajar? Yep. I found them. I found them. I think Robo Lucario's a little bit too aggressive with that, but eh. I'll, I'll look at that. Oops, what was this guy saying? You do the best to speak to the Queen or the Gurus if you wish to learn of the Mammoth Machine of the Ocean Palace. But just between you and I, I had not placed much faith in any answers Her Majesty gave you right now. She's been different as of late. The Queen's two children, Lady Scala and Lord Janus, got along so well. Only young Lord Janus would open up to others. That pendant of yours looks like Lady Scala's, but it doesn't glow like hers.
Queen's Council, Lord Dalton was in charge of the Ocean's Palace construction until a wandering prophet arrived and took over. Lord Dalton's in a foul mood these days. Best avoid him if you can. The completion of the Ocean Palace will secure everlasting glory for the Kingdom of Zeal. There will be no more fear or sadness, only eternal peace. We must have borne a great deal of pain and sorrow in silence. Four, progress requires an equal sacrifice. Much, have been, yeah, much must have been given to allow Zeal to attain the glory it knows now. Knows now. Ugh. This way will take you to the bedchambers. This way leads the Queen audience's chamber. Queen's audience chamber. Hello. Listen to me, the earth is alive and always has been. She changes slowly so you never see it. From flat lands into mountains, from mountains into seas. A way may someday open even to the forbidden shrine in the north, or to the sun temple, but it could take untold years. Hmm. This way leads to the mamma machine chamber. They say that Gaspar, the guru of time, continues his work on some deserted island. He tries to make a time egg or some such nonsense, but no one has seen him for years. Even Balthasar, who designed the Blackbird and the Ocean Palace, has vanished. How strange that the three gurus who guide his zeal to its present glory have all disappeared at once. That isn't setting off any alarms to anybody? <laughs> that wandering prophet is amazing. Every prophecy to escape his lips has come to pass. It's as though he already knows the events to come. Unnerving, is it not? Do you like plants, Traveler? Yeah. No, I love them too. But the Queen ordered me to burn this tiny sapling and receive the Guru of Life. He said it was a special tree with powers to restore the Earth. Oh, what shall I do? Grow it, obviously. It's from the Guru. You're right. Queen's orders, though they may be, it wouldn't do to burn a gift from the Guru of Life. Very well, then. I'll take care of it somewhere safe and secret. Someday it just may help someone who loves the earth and trees. My, what strange clothes! You must have traveled from afar. Use the font of recovery if you'd like to recuperate from your long journey. If you can muster the money to get it, I would say it's worth it. It goes 20% off. I... Would like to see those games someday, just because I, I do enjoy Studio Ghibli's movies, and I've seen many of them. Uh, the source of our energy rests deep below the sea. Once the exact location was determined, we began constructing the Ocean Palace there. The portal to the Ocean Palace is here in Her Majesty's audience chamber. Mind you, it hasn't been completed yet. Oh, Itchy, could you scratch my back? Sure. Oh, wonderful. Wonderbar. Oh, right there, you got it. Oh. Ooh, thank you. Discovered the new scratching spot. <laughs> With the jingle and everything. Beings that are born of dreams must always return to them in the end. But at times, people's dreams and prayers call upon the power of Labos and are made reality. I want to be the wind, Masa. Oh, you will someday if you try hard enough. Our big sister Doreen went to Enhansa again. Yeah, she likes to dream. I like the wind better than dreams, whoosh. Of course, these guys don't know who we are in this time period. I wonder how the Guru of Life is doing. What are humans supposed to do without him? Humans, I'll tell ya. Yeah, he says the same thing. Anyway. Now that we know the new scratching point, let us head back down. song. <sighs> if 
I return If I could change from what I've learned Sorry. Mitsuda released the, um... That album that gave lyrics to some of these songs and they're, they're damn, they're stuck in my head. Scratch, scratch. Ooh. Scratch, scratch. Whew. Tee -hee. <laughs> Obtain magic capsule. It just turns back around in shame. I don't remember if there's a new in the other place that needed his back scratch too. I guess it wouldn't hurt to check though. Pretty sure there isn't, but whatever. It's only a little bit of time out of her out of her lives. So I may remember a lot about this game, but I do not remember everything. No, I don't think there is a new here. It's just a bunch of people sleeping. The dream house. places now then. I'm, I'm, I'm just double check for more news though. It might have just been the one for that magic capsule though. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good on scratching news. <laughs> Scratching is fun. They're just like big, adorable, like, newts that grew weird and can talk. <laughs> Lady Scala's pendant was made from the same red stone as the Mammon Machine. When she prays to the device, the pendant glows with an unearthly light. Scala! Oh, Janus, you've returned. Is something wrong? The Black Winds. You feel the foreboding, too. Don't worry, it'll be alright. Here, keep this close. What is it? It's an amulet containing my prayers. If something should happen, it will keep you safe. 
I wish I could remain with you always, but Mother has other plans. That's not our mother. She looks like her, but she's not the same inside. Even still, forgive me, Janice. Pardons, your highness. The queen requests your immediate presence at the Ocean Palace. Very well. Well then, Janice, I must be on my way. Oh, who might you be? Forgive me, my lady, but we must hurry. If we're late, I fear I'll be... Well, you know the queen. Of course, my apologies. Don't waste your time. Alpha Dora only likes me. Go away. Alright. Alpha Dora. What a hell of a name for a cat. door cannot be opened from the outside, save with a powerful magic key like Lady Scala's pendant. Your pendant, it looks identical to Lady Scala's. I heard that when Lady Scala communes with the Mammon Machine, her pendant glows with a strange light. Her Majesty said that she had business at the Ocean Palace. None may pass until her return. Your pendant, it looks identical to Scala's. She has the big tent of what you're supposed to do, you get it? Yeah. It won't budge. Hmm, there must be something different about that pendant. The Prophet's aura is clouded with hatred and sorrow. If he does not free himself of those emotions, he'll destroy himself and those he loves along with him. Here lies the Madden Machine Chamber. You can feel the glorious energy of Laveau's surgeon from it. The Mammon Machine? You came to see it? Yep. I thought as much. Can he feel the flow of the mighty Lavos's power? Oh, it brings tears to my eyes. If the Madden Machine has moved to the Ocean Palace, we can extract even more energy from Lavos. The dream of eternal life will be made possible. Oh, almighty queen, our kingdom will reign for all eternity. This is the font of Zeal's power, the Mammon Machine. It draws and magnifies the limitless power of Lavos. Oh, that pendant looks just like Lady Scala's. When she clutches her pendant and prays to the Mammon Machine, the pendant radiates a strange light. It's almost as if it were speaking to the place in a language only the two of them could understand. Operating the Mammon Machine requires magic powerful enough to regulate the energy the machine extracts. Respect to the Gurus, Lady Scala is the only one with such power. The three Gurus constructed the Mammon Machine from a reddish stone that had been kept in the Royal Treasury for generations. The Guru of Life, Melkwire, was in charge of the plans and conducted a great deal of research on the na nature of Lavos. But now, well, I'm sure you know the rest. They're all missing. Melkwire, the guru of life, opposed the queen's plans and disappeared shortly thereafter. It pains me to consider some conspiracy may be at work, but it is terribly suspicious. At least some of the people who live here are like, say, yeah, something's up. When the mammoth machine was finished, the queen became a different person almost overnight. A much colder one. Just between us, I heard that any who oppose her majesty, and not just the earthbound ones, vanish and are never heard from again. Let me just slip my pendant on in there. Blind myself with that red light, good lord. That glow! That's the pendant the gurus made for Lady Scala. How did he come to have that? That glow! That's the pendant some some blah, blah. We're all gonna say the same thing. I'm gonna scratch this news back one more time for good luck. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah. This is the... <laughs> I remember when KZ was playing this, then I came in and uh, was co-commentating for a while and was like, yeah, this and this is such and such, and you can do this, and if you go back, you can get to these secret rooms, and then and then he can't walk down here, and the path is blocked, and I was like, oh, <laughs> I had no idea there was a point of no return. Her Majesty said she had business at the Ocean Palace. None may pass until her return. And then he missed stuff, but I don't think he was aiming to do everything at once anyway. Beings that are born of dreams must always return to them in the end. Those guys are in my way. Go this way, Danji. Okay, I think I've talked to everyone. We did it! <laughs> no door can bar the way of scientific progress. Now let me check something here. How are we doing on health? Alright. Bookmark. Oh, that exits the game. <laughs> no thanks. So I was just about to try to figure out what kind of voice I could give her. Um, um, I, I don't know. Who are you? How did you get in here? Your Majesty, these are the bringers of disaster of whom I spoke. Indeed, they and the crews alike. How dare you outlanders attempt to oppose me? Fools! One and all! Delton, seize them! Yes, your majesty, with pleasure. Gollum! <laughs> Alright, so, Gollum again. Annoying dude who can do the, uh... He, he just killed Luca. <laughs> He just straight up killed her. So, yeah, uh, I didn't even get to finish what I was saying before he was just like, I'm gonna do that. I'm, where is my cursor? There we go. Well, that sucks. You can win that fight, but, uh, he decided we were supposed to die. <laughs> Fear not, I won't kill you. Not immediately, that is. I'll allow you to sample every type of pain and fear imaginable first. By the time we're through, you'll be begging us to end your suffering. Ah, what a delicious diversion. Ho, 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 ho. Hmm. Idiots. What will you do, Scala? Let us help them. I don't think it'll be of any use, and you'll be in trouble if you let them escape. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. They just might be able to rescue Melquire. Or Melchior. No, put us back. Her sprites were normal in there. Are you alright? Quickly, you must flee this palace. And if you can, please, free the Guru of life. He was sent to the Mountain of Woe for opposing my mother's plan. Please, you must help him. I'm afraid I cannot allow that. Your meddling tires me. It seems I'll need to put an end to you here. No, you mustn't. Don't! Even the cat's like, back off, sir. Very well. I'll spare their lives. But in return, you will cooperate with me, Scala. Now, show me how it is you came here. 
quick snap transition. Hey! So he came through here. Now, Scala, once I throw them in, you will seal the portal shut. N no you can't make me. You will obey me. Their lives are at stake. I... very well. And then we pose like, yeah! <laughs> What are you doing, Chrono? It's not a that's that's not, it's not a fist pump moment. So that that fight with Golem could have gone better, but um, nah, he just <laughs> he went in hard and he went in fast. I had, there was nothing I could do. The key to defeating Lavos must lie in that period. Wait a minute, the design for the door of that pendant we opened, I've seen it in other places. So I do the thing that I usually do in my playthrough of this game is I avoided going to that area before via the sewer. But uh, now we're heading that way anyway and we're stronger we could just wallop right through it. <laughs> I'm wondering, we have Ayla in our party now. Let's check what text we have. This might be something I still do later. Ah, uh, she doesn't have it yet. Okay. Once we learn charm, we can do. We can go ahead and I'll. Uh, I'll try to show off getting that Easter egg item that's here in this time period. Things sealed off, even the pillars of light are missing here. Ah, you've been to the Magic Kingdom. With that pillar of light sealed, you'll be needing to find a way to move through time more freely, should you wish to return. I recall someone working on such a device, the Wings of Time, I believe he called it. Though, sadly, I fear the man's mind left him in the course of those long years of research. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring Frog and Robo for this next part. Not for any particular reason other than because these guys aren't supposed to be with you in the sewer. I just always find it funny what they do. These are all the wrong locations. Where's the where's the future? Here we go. Wait. Is there a different door? Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. To the future. Get to hear Frog's badass theme for a bit. This gives me a chance to appreciate the overworld here again for a bit. I forget if we talked about it the first time we came here, but I always appreciated the music in this particular time period because it really encompasses just the emptiness of the world and how it's just beyond screwed up with 
sands and dust blowing constantly of the remains of all the buildings and and the song itself is just like an echoing of stuff blowing in the wind. It's really cool. And of course, lightning goes off. With the scariest sounding thunder I've ever heard. <laughs> That's not quite how it used to sound, but... Let's race, Johnny. It's the man, the man. Oh crap, <laughs> I screwed the timing up there and lost. I was trying to go for points. My granny rides faster than that. Hop on again, babe, if you think you can handle it. Never mind going for points. I'll just do the thing that is a guaranteed win. Which is do nothing. <laughs> and wait. Just, uh, just shove our noses up in the butt. Mess with the camera while we wait. We get like piss all of our points, but um, because the more you're ahead of them, the more, po more points you get. It doesn't really matter. Could have gotten a good score. It wasn't terrible. called? Abandoned Sewers. Okay. Eek! Outsiders! Better report to Crawley. Egg Ooze. That's a good name. Another thing I get a kick out of when they do critical strikes on enemies inside of water. They're just standing on the water to slam them. Obtain 600G. Oh, yeah, this area is gonna be quite easy. We were supposed to come here way earlier. God, oh, these guys. There was a bridge here. I saw it, I swear, Ribbit. What, it got up and walked away, Ribbit? Don't you lie to me. There's nothing here at all, Ribbit. But it's true, Ribbit. Someone's coming. Let's scram, Ribbit. And here's what these two do when we come here. <laughs> they just... Robo shakes his head, doesn't have anything to say, and Frog's just like, no. Nah. Because normally you're supposed to be here with Mauro and Luca, and they have stuff to say. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a dumb thing I like showing off. There's a diary here, the final... Entry reads as follows. I'm through. I can't take any more of this. The fishmen attack if I even make the slightest noise. If I knew things would be like this, I'd have taken a gu guillotine any day of the week. 
I think I'll go out with a good loud scream, see how the soggy freaks like that. Dark. <gasps> Kitty! It's a trap! Frog Flex! Who left this trash out? Kick that in. <laughs> I really love the cute and creative ways they were like, here's ways you can make noises in this area to make enemies attack you. They're just fun to do anyway. <laughs> Is that a piece of cheese? Man, I'm starved. <laughs> so weird, this area. This, this entire area is just comedy. Something nice and lighthearted in this destroyed dystopian future. That was always my favorite. Even the ting of the save point alerts them. I love this game. I love everything about it. I don't know if I've said that enough in my lifetime. I might actually do another Chrono Cross stream playthrough on um on Twitch now, since the ones we did on Hitbox a long time ago were uh, well, I don't have them saved or anything, so it'd be worth doing. Looks like you just have to press this switch on the bridge and the bridge will extend across, Ribbit. So switch it on already, Ribbit. Ribbit! Can't reach it, Ribbit! And you call yourself a frog, Ribbit? Someone's coming, let's scrim. Rage Band. Let's see. Grants 50% counter attack rate. Ooh. Um. I guess I could switch that out when we get a new weapon for Frog. Stamina. some tabs here. Can I just only give that to people in my party? Okay, speed then. Speed, speed, speed. I'll give speed to Chrono. Actually, no. Just speed to Robo. He could use some. There's three of them, and they're almost here. Molten through the sewer like they own the place, eh? Must have a death wish. We'll teach him a little respect. Yes, we will. <laughs> Just let him come through here. Fill me chopped liver. Pulverized. Won't even know what to call him when we're done. Gah! <laughs> har, 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 har. They're just doing one piece left. Oh god, I'm choking on my phone. 
<laughs> Gross. <laughs> Mash you to goo. <laughs> Two hits. Bye, boss. That was fun. <laughs> Thunderblade. That would have been good a long time ago, but not really useful to us now. Meow. And all the bridges are open for a quick shortcut. So normally, that's what you're supposed to do before you get here. So that these are just open, you can run right to the end. But, uh, yeah. The only downside is we, we miss some dialogue with the guru who was here. Oh, please do not disturb my slumber. What am I doing? This place has really good music, too. I think this song's a little bit underrated in terms of the soundtrack. But I'm just a fan of piano, so... It's so beautiful. You who have opened the door, I am Balthasar, the guru of reason, and formerly of the kingdom of Zeal. I was cast into this era by a great disaster which befell our land. Much to my surprise, I've learned that the creature Lavos was not a product of our age, far from it. It seems that the being fell from the sky in a bygone age, burrowing deep into the planet's core. There he began to feed upon his energy, growing ever stronger. Lavos's form was revealed briefly, revealed briefly when he was summoned forth by a mighty wizard by the name of Magus in the year 600. In the year 1999, Lavos emerged to claim the surface. Now he has taken the place. I have named Death Peak as his throne, or nest as it may be. His miniature spawn now flow from the mountaintop, an avalanche of death. Lavos is a parasite, a parasite of gargantuan proportions whose host is the planet itself. Trapped here, I endeavored to continue my study and ob observation of Lavos, but I believe the end draws near. Maintaining one's sanity in the endeavor and end itself in an age such as this, an endeavor I feel I may I, I fear may be futile. So before my mind is lost forever, I've decided to leave the records of my knowledge behind, along with my greatest invention. Ever did I long to return home, and toil endlessly in search of a way, but as I neared the completion of my research, so did I near the end of my days. I've grown old and frail, and so I leave it in your hands, you who have opened the way. Take hold the reins of time, and let all the people of the planet's past and future join as one. Then, only then, you just may be able to stop Lavos. There was a tab in here somewhere. <laughs> you have little chance of success, but even a little chance is still a chance. You have opened the door. The fate of the world is in your hands. Open now the final door and claim what awaits my last and greatest work. The Wings of Time. I really thought there was a tab in this room.
usually like right here. Huh. I don't know. False memories? <laughs> This must be the invention mentioned in his recordings, the wings of time. This must be it, the wings of time. Thank you, fellas. <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? It's me, Balthasar. I copied my memory into this thing. What is this, Black Mirror? What do you think? Precious, isn't he? Anyway, there is something I need to explain. Namely, how to transcend time. Tap Y to display the time gauge and select the area you wish to visit. Ah, uh, yes. Before you go, why don't you give a name to my time machine? Emoji not supported. Epoch. Well then, hop aboard. Take off, get off. <laughs> and now we can travel to all of the time periods we want. The end of time, the future, the destruction of Earth, present, Middle Ages, antiquity, prehistory. But of course, we want to go to the Ice Age. From the confidence of what Chrono was doing at the beginning there, to the absolute shock and horror he is now. Did I start dropping frames during the cutscene? Why are cutscenes cursed on my stream? <laughs> What's this? Even in my time, we did not have vehicles capable of time travel. The Epoch is capable of this? There's a Y button in that time machine, yep. And once... we won't get to see it probably for many streams from now, but there's a front view are in the, uh, when you're sitting in it and it shows the front, the steering wheel is actually inside of a D-pad shape. It's, it's quite cute. This is El Gedi, the village of the Earthbound. We Earthbound ones were banished from Zeal because we were possessed of no magical talents. Many inhabitants of this land were taken to build the Ocean Palace, and none were ever seen again. Might I interest you in some goods? What do you got? Got potion and all that good stuff, yeah. Oh my god, he actually has new and better equipment. For everybody. Hell yeah, even for Frog. Cool. All right. Get that for Quono. Get everybody everything, may as well. Wait, oh my god. This stuff is actually expensive. Couldn't afford everything. I have to sell some of my older equipment. A 
blade forge to pierce demonic armor. A uh, devastatingly powerful laser blaster. A bow whose shafts strike like meteorites. Alright, sell some of this old crap. <laughs> What's this caveman doing with power katanas? Ugh. I'm happy he has them, though. Make sure I don't accidentally sell something I want. At least in New Game Plus, you're allowed to keep everything you have. But not in this, not during right now. We gotta, we gotta sell this old stuff. Apparently I have more than one Thunder Blade, hey. There, now we should be able to afford all that stuff. Megaton Arm and the Radiant Blade. Man, those are expensive. Oh, and he has really good helmets, too. Lots of really good stuff. 2,300 for that. Okay, so since I'm keeping... Actually, what party should I have for this? What party do I want? I could rock Frog and Robo for a while, because they're my favorites, but it might be more beneficial to have Luca and Marl. That robe is super pricey. Man, this plate is even pricier. I guess I'll just get the helmets and stick with this party for now. A helmet shines with heavenly light. So much good equipment. It really would be worth grinding for it, but we always pick up free stuff that's good as well. I'm really debating what party I want with me. It's so hard to choose between an actual good party and my favorite characters. <laughs> I think we'll switch with Aelin tomorrow, yeah. Fits right in in this place, pretty much. <laughs> the Queen has installed the Mammoth Machine in the Ocean Palace in an attempt to absorb Lavosa's energy, but is there not peril in such a thing? Your 
improve life set as much, but it only led her to imprison him upon the Mountain of Woe. I fear there's little we can do. The Guru of Life said that the young Lord Janus possessed power within him exceeding even that of Lady Scala. But then the Queen lost her mind, and the young Lord grew to hate that power and all the suffering it causes Lady Scala. Now he hides it, denies it, and shuts it from his thoughts. Will Lady Skywalker come and play with us again? <laughs> that's not even me doing a voice, that's just how that was written out. The three gurus and Lady Skylar are near the only ones are near the only ones who do not treat us as inferior. Oh super Dragon balls, come and grant me my wish, pretty please. Mud beast den is dangerous. You shouldn't play around there. <laughs> Children. <laughs> uh, I can't take that kind of talking seriously anymore thanks to the internet. Hello? Mr. Obama, I'm drowning! In times past, the enlightened ones and we earthbound ones lived as one. Would you like to rest here? Sure. It's for free. Go oh, just stand in this bed. This tunnel connects to the Mud Beast Den, and beyond the mouth of the den lies the great chain that anchors the mountain of woe to the earth. The Guru of Life voiced opposition to the Queen's plan, so he's banished to the Mountain of Woe. This will indeed be a lot of grinding here, though, if we can, um, get enemies to respawn up there anyway. Strength. Let's go ahead and give that to either Chrono or Ayla. We'll give that to Ayla. She deserves some love, too. Eh. Whoa, she's actually... Five points stronger than Chrono already. Damn. You're not getting through here. Random, random dude. Alright. 
right, I do not want to attack him. <laughs> he does a counter hit every time you do. I'll just focus on that red beast first then. strike. Should have brought Luca, but oh well. Too late. Optimally, if I wanted to kill them the fastest, I should have brought Luca. And this will still work out. Hey, I'm fat. Uh
That'll do it. <laughs> Don't play well, Gil. down. Up we go to the Mount of Woe. Wow, this effect is not working at all. This looks terrible. Oh no. What happened? Oh, good lord, this is quite ugly. Oh, my everything. Oh, look at all of this experience and tech points we get, though. Cure 2. Nice. Actually, how close are we to burning stuff? 248 for Frenzy. 70 for Charm. Just got Cure 2, so 755 for Arise. 200 for Water 2. 96 for Protect. Heal Beam, 241. Alright, so let me just see if this rock guy comes back. We go down and come back up. No, they do not respawn. Most of the monsters that give you mad TP and experience don't. There's some stupid glitch or method to get them to respawn. <laughs> oh, how upsetting. This might be, this is either an effect of some of the mods I have on, or it's just the game improperly putting stuff in places due to the full screen and widescreen nature. 
of the game right now. A sleek helm of worked platinum. something here too. Learning a bunch of abilities as I'm <laughs> looking something up here. Okay, according to the internet, there is one rubble that does respawn. So we can grind for some tech points from him. One at the first save point that can respond. We'll, we'll test that theory, see if it works on this version. Could have been patched, we'll find out. But not all of them respawn as of. Somebody else on KZ's stream mentioned that, like, oh, they all respawn. Well, the wind is starting to work a little bit, but no, they do not. <laughs> I knew that. I figured I was right. But there is one that does. when she misses. It's like, Teehee, in this fight to the death, I messed up, Teehee. Strike enemy four times in succession. Ooh. I could definitely grind until we have Luminaire. I have to do that. Luminaire is way too great. In fact, we can probably max out everybody's final moves. Oh, gar those gargoyles are pushovers. Now the rubbles have a huge ev evase stat. Where's the guy that supposedly responds?
Maybe he's jealous of what a fucking man you are. Thank you, Jester Zelfer, for following. Welcome to the party, my friend. What a crit. Oh yeah, speaking of crits, I was gonna give Frog that new item. Now that we don't have the Mazda Moon on him anymore. For now. Do that now before I completely forget. Equip their new weapons either. There you are. And there you are. An arm that packs a massive punch. And a sword that gleams with hollow light. I guess it's the rubble that's near that save point that's supposed to respawn. I don't see any other rocks around here. Yeah, this is... No, still on the second screen. Keep looking around. Spawn up and go off screen and come back, or do I have to go all the way down the mountain first? Probably 
probably have to go down the mountain. If that's even the right one. I'll go check the other spot too. There's all these other fights in the way as well. Oops. No. Damn it, Ayla being faster than me. they all get good experience as well. Actually, crap, I have to check what level I am. See when about so I can think about heading back to Specchio for the third I iteration of them. Or fourth by now, I think. Third in context of us seeing him, fourth in context of actual levels. So again, we don't see his little froggy version. Activate all these fights all the time. Otherwise, this is going to be a very long process. Well, depending on which of these two rebels respawn after we go down and come back up. Some of these guys are just pushovers. Ronkua. Okay, I'm just looking like we'll have to climb down first. Figure out which dude it is. Unless it's been patched and we can't anymore. Out the final door. Save just in case. Always save.
that's going to be the further one, isn't it? Oh. No, no avoiding this battle. These guys are pushovers now, so... first time. It might have been this dude who respawns and I, <laughs> I didn't fight him. Well, may as well check if he's the one who does it real quick. Now we got two people who can recover fallen allies. grinding. The things we do. Bob Dungle. Desperately searching for a way to avoid this one, but I think they got the trigger for this battle. Laid out too damn well. This guy that comes back. Sim. It won't be nearly as long as a trek to try to do it. Hey, it is him! Yay! We got our grinding rock. Our sharpening rock, as it were. we need. So three more battles for Luminaire. That's a lot. Revive and fully heal and then I... It's better than... 
That's raise, and then hers is called what? A rise? Yeah. So, better re. Water 2, 200. Minus 6 for. Tucked. Gill beam. Alright, so like three or four fights, and everybody will get. their second to last and or last single powerful magic tech. This shouldn't take too long. And there's more rubbles on the way up the mountain too anyway, so we could probably stop when we get Luminaire of Chrono and just keep going up the mountain perhaps. So I can probably take him as soon as I learn Luminaire anyway. Thirty to thirty-nine. Okay, so don't go past thirty-nine. Got a little ways until then. Yeah, as soon as we learn um Luminaire, I can probably just go back and take him out. He won't stand a chance. Dat, rock. There you go. So around three hits usually he dies. It's not too bad. At least we only have to deal with those fights when we're running up as opposed to going back down.
Oh, good lord. My controller. <laughs> Stupid thing. Oh, great. Now my buttons are all messed up. Close and open the game. How dare you, USB cable? Whoops. <laughs> what? No, why are my buttons still messed up? Oh, fudge. All this because my com frickin' controller popped out of its socket. What's really bad about that is, um... I might have to restart my computer for it to stop doing that. Fingers crossed. Nope, it's still doing it. Okay, I'll be back, guys. So after my controller unplugged and I plugged it back in and everything fell apart, I was sitting there thinking, this will be a quick fix. This will be a... This will be a quick little, just plug it in and it'll start working like it's supposed to. Nope. I kept getting this error message every single time I plugged my controller in all of a sudden. I was like, I don't know why this is happening. So I uninstalled drivers, completely reinstalled the program, restarted my computer twice, and I was still getting the error message. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And then finally, I take a shot in the dark, and I open up my NVIDIA, and I disable this thing called its in-game overlay, whatever the hell it is. So I turn that off, just trying to figure out what could possibly be causing this error. And I turn that off, and I plug my controller in, and it works. So I was like, I, I don't understand how these two programs are related. <sighs> So, now my controller's working again. Those of you still here, thank you for your patience. Because <laughs> that was frickin' stupid. Computers don't make sense. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't work in IT or anything like that, because I would be done. I was getting so frustrated. <laughs> now some of my buttons are a little bit mixed up because I was changing settings within the game too, so hopefully I'll... Uh... change that back. So, um, yeah. <laughs> also, that's why those gore girls are annoying. They have a move that reduces you to 1 HP. Good. Hey! Luminaire not even fighting the thing in the bottom. Hang on here. So I'm still a miss. Here we go. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, that's the way I like it, I think, right there. Okay. Actually, some of my buttons are still a bit weird, but I'll figure it out. That's back to normal. 
so, yeah, and the reason that this was a problem was because, um... Chrono Trigger was registering that I had two controllers plugged in, not just the one. And that was causing double inputs, and that would have been really, really annoying. So we have Luminaire now. Let's see what we need to, uh... What everybody else needs. I'm gonna do for that. Oh, Marl's done. Well, since Marl's done, let's actually switch somebody else into our party. Or a bit, just for this part. Frog. They do get TP. Well, I'm not sure about TP. I know they get experience when they're not in your party, but. That was the most anger-inducing thing I've ever experienced. One, one surefire way to tell when I'm annoyed is when I start saying things out loud at the device I'm mad at. <laughs> Now it's just, it's working now because NVIDIA's in-game overlay was somehow causing issues. I don't, I don't know how or why. And I was doing Google searches and stuff looking for any possible answer and people were like, try this tool. And I tried, I, that's another thing, I downloaded a, another program that's supposed to cycle through all the controllers on your computer and disable and re-enable them so that there's, they're all cleanly plugged in. That wasn't working either. And I was. I was getting ready to just turn my computer off and leave. <laughs> Go for a walk. I still might do that after this stream, depending what time it is. But man, that was stupid. that my patience levels for tech issues and tech, like, troubleshooting is zero. <laughs> if the thing doesn't work like it's supposed to, like, three times in a row, I immediately just start getting pissed. I'm not even sure how long that took me. It certainly started to feel like it was a like half an hour to an hour for me to get that stupid thing, that small, tiny thing fixed. Oh, 
Oh, please, this accuracy. Oh, and he ran away. So, I think the plan for the rest of the stream is, um, do a little bit more grinding, finish Mount Woe, and then I think we'll wrap up. Uh, it's always been a big reason too why typically when I'm troubleshooting stuff I like to do it by myself because sometimes friends offer to help me and I just end up getting I just get too pissy and I start <laughs> I start yelling at them so I just try to deal with it myself so I'm so I'm so crap at keeping it together with that stuff things to work. <laughs> If it happens again, I know what to look for now. I have a better idea of how to quickly fix the issue so it doesn't take as long. So, who's excited to find out what's gonna break next on the next time I stream? First day, it was <laughs> pretty much everything. Day two, it ended up being my controller. thing again after see if his TP goes up if he's not in the party TP might not <sighs> 
what's hilarious too is stuff like that could be completely avoided, at least when it comes to my controller, if I just used an Xbox 360 controller, but, um, I kind of just prefer <laughs> the PS4. Plus, that'd mean I'd have to spend $50 on an Xbox 360 controller. Sony's DualShocks are just, they're just really good. They've always been good. From PlayStation 1 to PlayStation Now. And they've generally kept the same design because it just works. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Strike. Thank you. Oh, right. Um, let's see. Text. No, okay, so they need to be in the party in order to learn text. Alright. It's gonna make this take longer. May as well do that at this point. I have to keep an eye on Chrono as well. Make sure I don't um, push past 40. three of their spells, we're actually going to run back to the end of time and fight Specchio. I think we'll be able to take him.
nice no animation. It didn't even do the light up. It tried to, but it like did it on the wrong layer. Get off. Hey! What? Interesting. So he actually completed his wings of time. And at the cost of his own life, no less. Why not put those wings to good use and pay a visit to the ancient magic kingdom? Come and see me whenever you have the need. Think of me as your guide on the Times Road. Thanks, my dude. Now he's using multi-hit attacks. That freaking hurt. I might need to bring in Marl for this. Why is Frog attack- Oh, it's his freaking item. Whoops. I didn't realize that made him do that. I'm gonna come back. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait until one of us are level 39. Because, good lord. Him using multi head attacks is a huge problem. Okay, you're learning. Okay, you don't need to be here. What do I want? best things he gives you anyway is just capsules, but...
He's the one who's going to push past first. Inevitable, especially when streaming it. Can't cut it out in post if I were doing it for videos. Okay, cure two for frog. 
this next frog squash. <laughs> In the opening preview stuff, they show Frog having frog squash way back in Megas' castle. Imagine the grinding you'd have to do to do that. And or New Game Plus. Distracted by my cat who decided to flop over. He's just staring at me now. Cute little bastard. HP to all allies. Okay. So does everybody have a... It is large to one ally. Hmm. Frog Scrosh right now, so he's bringing Luka back in with these last two techs, and I think I'll be done with grinding here. As useful as it could be to just get all the techs here. I'd also like to make a little bit more story progress before we wrap up the stream after the controller fiasco. Gone. 
RNG gods be on my side. One more hit. One more hit. Thank you. times I've played this game. Um, <laughs> I can't say I've ever kept count proper, but... Played it through many times as a kid. Then I started playing it once per year, just as a ritual of mine. So, a lot. <laughs> the answer is a lot. Then each and every single one of those playthroughs is on the original Super Nintendo version. The saddest thing that's happened with that too is that my uh, the battery on my Chrono Trigger copy screwed up and it lost my file that I had from when I was very young. With it, everybody's levels maxed out and all the items and all that stuff. So that was a little bit lame, but. Just wondering because you say this is your favorite game. It is. It has been for a long time, and I don't think anything has even come close to taking its throne in my personal favorite thing ever. I've been citing it as my favorite game ever since elementary school. <laughs> goes to show how much of an impact it had on my life. Mm -hmm. 
And it blows my mind that I'm a year older than it. <laughs> Chrono Trigger recently celebrated its 23rd anniversary. So very self-conscious about the controller unplugging itself again now. Okay, we're level 38. Gotta be careful now. Oh, whoops. That's not going on. Okay. I'm trying to think now if there was ever a time, because there had to have been, there had to have been once upon a time when I was much, much younger before I was able to experience this game properly. Because I did play it when I was too young to, like, I wasn't, I wasn't quite there reading-wise to fully appreciate the story, and I never got that far when I was younger. Played stuff like, um, played Pokemon Blue on Game Boy a lot. I was really obsessed with Pokemon Blue. I really like Pokemon Crystal, too. Maybe a Pokemon game was once upon a time my favorite game of all time, but then Chrono happened. And <laughs> Hasn't changed since then. <laughs> 
Plus, Pokemon cheated anyway, because it had the anime as well that was airing when I was very young. I even watched episode one together with all my family when it first aired on YTV. Quite the day that was. are going to be too high for me to want to keep grinding for now. 900. Alright. How much experience do we need until we rock you up? 4,584. Okay. So, I think we'll continue our climb up Mount Low. And we shouldn't push past 40 if we finish this area. So I am ready to get this area done and wrap it up. Okay. Actually, no. You know what? I actually want Ayla, because um, Falcon Hit should be very useful. So Ayla and Marl. Push this VOD to YouTube. I'm gonna have to combine the two streams together now. Because this one will be too short <laughs> on its own. I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna go ahead and run from some of these battles. <laughs> Nice to see the run effect doesn't work properly in this version. <laughs> Very good. Though it might be because of the glitched out foreground at the moment. And be extra careful just to not accidentally push over 40 and then not get the rewards from Specchio for this level. Not that it's a huge deal. being ever so slightly faster than Chrono, and I'm thinking I'm in his menu and I'm not. Physical for these. 
these guys. Magic can do too much. I'll fight them on my way up. Well, actually, hmm. I should switch out Marl for the time being while we're climbing up and then make sure other people get the tech points. This guy's gonna freaking run away anyway, at this point. Or not. Huh? Yay. Or no, how about... Eh, frog. They have heal he has a healing spell as well. And Robo does, but whatever. Chrono's level 39 now. Eight thousand experience. <sighs> well now I gotta check something. some battles on my way up so we don't push past 39 with Chrono. If only I could take him out of my party. Oh, that probably wouldn't make much of a difference, would it? So he'd still get experience. Marl's dangerously close to there as well. Okay, yeah. Gonna, gonna, gonna be avoiding some battles here. Oh, doesn't matter because we're right at the end. Perfect. Perfect. One more screen. Time half. Prevents stop and slow, and is a better defense. Hmm. I guess I will give up the chrono and give the radiant helm to somebody else. wear it.
All right. This cage? Look, it's disappearing. Now this boss I remember <laughs> fondly. Because when I was younger, I could not beat him for the longest time. Still, I am. Oops. Got to change that back when I was done with Specchio. Oh well. I was wondering why that thing wasn't happening. good and I guess we'll just keep doing that. Wonder if we can get over 900 or 999 health in this version, or if it's still limited to, uh... Well, that. <laughs> oh, whoops. I didn't mean to heal myself. Looked at the menu room. <laughs> nice. As long as we don't give him a chance to heal and do an attack, this 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 will go smoothly. Haste is gonna make this a piece of cake. Max damage! Barely giving him a chance. Now 
That was that. <laughs> Thank you, Falcon Strike. Interestingly, what of the Queen in the Ocean Palace? Do you know what has happened? I see. The Queen's mind has already eroded to that extent. It seems the more energy the Mamma Machine absorbs, the further the Queen descends into madness. The immortal Lavos is overtaking her soul from within his slumber beneath the waves. We must flee! The seal is broken! It will bring down the mountain! Come, make haste! Look, Marl knows that spell. <laughs> Elder, the Mountain of Woe! Mama, the mountain's fallen. Lavos sleeps deep underground, consuming the energy of this planet. Brought so near the Mama Machine could very well awaken him. We must hurry before it is too late. Elder, Lady Scala is here. What? Scala? Oh, that was Melchior. Lady Scala, why have you come to such a miserable place? Do not degrade yourselves. We enlightened ones were once the same as you. The only difference is that we are now puppets of Lavos. Such a filthy place. Melchior, when the mountain fell, I knew I would find you here. But is it safe for you to leave the palace? Whether it is safe or not no longer matters. The Ocean Palace is complete. Then all is lost. Not all. Without me, the Mammoth Machine is no more than a vessel. I will not activate that evil thing again. I have kept the Skyway open. Please, you must stop my Lady Mother. My dear. Dalton. It would be quite an inconvenience if you failed to activate the machine. Delton, leave her alone. Ah, the fossil speaks. Be silent. You'll come to the Ocean Palace with me. Cause any trouble in your life is, well, I will bear no responsibilities. Scala! None of the Queen's brats know their place, do they? Oh, let's not be hasty. I'd be more than happy to take the life of this little pearl. I do not fear the queen. Shall we be on our way, Scala, dear? Your mother is waiting. Melchior. I am all right. But we must rescue Scala, or there will be terrible consequences. There's no hope of rescuing her, not even for you, Melchior. If the Queen's plans come to fruition, there's no hope for life as we know it. Nay, says Chrono. Y you would go and stop her? Yes, says Chrono. <laughs> My pardons you. My pardons, you risk your life for us time and time again, and I do not even know your names. Old man, use red stone. Help, Chrono. Now, Ayla, Ayla, help old man. 
Whatever are you talking about? Chrono, let's get going. Wait, take this with you. It's made from the same red stone as the mammoth machine. With it, you should be able to destroy the thing for good. Lady Scarlet abducted, but without magic, we're helpless to save her. Alright, well, let's go ahead and park ourselves at the end of time. I guess I could take, make like one or two attempts at beating Speccio again. And then we'll get ready to wrap up for the day. Stupid controller issues making me push later than I meant to. <laughs> for everyone. What oh, Robo? He can also do moderate. Okay, so maybe Robo and Frog and just have them at heal duty while Chrono does the hefty damage. Let's try to beat this dude. healing attack together. Let's try to do that then. Let him do a thing, get them to heal. This should make this doable, hopefully. Speckiel's Healthy Choice Set. Obtained one Magic Capsule and five High Aethers. What can I say? I'm the Master of War. Victory! Alright. Put this back on active mode before I forget. And we'll go park ourselves outside of where we're supposed to be.
Alrighty, so... See if there's anybody to host, and hopefully, <laughs> the next time I stream, we will have no tech issues, and everything will go smoothly, and I will make sure I'm actually up earlier. I'm gonna start setting alarms for myself. Double check that I saved. So, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Sorry about the uh, sudden break in between there with this stupid controller thing. And let us see. Who's, who's online? So, once again, keep an eye on Twitter and or the Discord for the next stream. Again, I'm going to be trying to make sure I do it more regularly. I'm probably going to start trying to start earlier, too. Um, uh, I'm gonna host Sal. He's playing original Legend of Zelda, so if you want to check that out, you can go ahead and do so. Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate you. Love you. Thanks for all the follows and the bits and the and the subs and the things and stuff. Always a joy. More Chrono Trigger soon. No, it last longer. Alright, I see another level nearby. If that's what I think it is. Yep, there it is. I'll be back. Lucari, oh shit. Thanks for the host, man. Much appreciated. <laughs>